More than 10,000 years ago, the last ice age led to a series of massive caves forming underwater in Belize, which caused the Blue Hole to form. Throughout hundreds of years, a mystery surrounded the massive crater, and it was unclear what was actually at the bottom of such an enormous hole. Finally, in 1970, a French explorer, Jacques Cousteau, set out to explore the massive crater. Throughout his adventure, Jacques discovered that the incredible crater was formed before oceans rose to the levels they stand at today, and that different caves and tunnels branch off from the massive hole. When the ocean began to rise after the Ice Age, the hole began to fill with water, which then transformed into the hole we know today as the Great Blue Hole. Kostu died in 1997, and it was now up to a new explorer to solve the mystery of the enormous hole. Once Kostu's discovery was shown on TV across the world, the Blue Hole quickly became a worldwide tourist destination, and was a very popular scuba diving location. It even became so popular that Bill Gates even visited the incredible landmark in 2012. But things took a sudden turn when a 22-year-old diving instructor passed away after an uncontrolled descent to the bottom of the hole. Now only experienced divers are permitted to dive in the Blue Hole. Even as the hole became the number one diving destination, there still had not been a mission to discover exactly what lived below the surface, at the very bottom of the hole, where humans could not dive to. Finally, in 2018, plans were made to descend to the bottom of the hole and discover the mystery surrounding it. But there was one problem that held up the mission for nearly 20 years. Due to the pressure of diving so deep underwater, it was very hard to plan such an intense and life-threatening mission. While we now know that the hole is 400 feet deep, the depth of the hole was unknown at the time, and the crew had to be prepared for anything. To complete this mission, two submarines descended to the bottom of the enormous hole, bringing along a 360 imaging camera to map the interior of the crater. Shortly into the dive, the hole became completely dark, with minimal life towards the bottom of the hole due to the intense pressure. When they finally reached the bottom, they discovered dead marine life that suffocated when it reached the bottom of the hole. They also discovered large amounts of plastic swallowed by the hole. The most incredible sight was 300 feet below the surface. This is where a visible marking of the rocks showed where the sea level used to be, an insane 300 feet below the surface. After close examination of the underwater cave, they finally began their descent back up to the surface. As daylight reappeared, the pressure finally dropped and sea life began to reappear. This was the first official mission to the bottom of the Belize Hole, and much was discovered about its origin and where it stands today. But what will happen to a hole like this in the future, and will it be like this forever? The Belize Audubon Society is currently in charge of protecting the hole and preserving its incredible features, but they can really only go so far. Earth will control the state of the Blue Hole and how it will change in the coming years and decades. Craters on Earth gradually degrade over time, and since the Belize Hole is underwater, this makes it even worse. Scientists have discovered that over time, these underwater caves may begin to cave in, which could damage the hole for years to come. Erosion of land in and around this enormous crater can also cause extensive damage to the well-being of wildlife inside the caves as well. But there is not exactly a good way to prevent events like this from happening. Natural landscapes will change over time, but it's unclear exactly what will happen to the Belize Hole in the coming years. But Belize isn't the only place with a blue hole like this. These massive ocean craters are actually quite common in oceans across the world. Located in the Bahamas is Dean's Blue Hole. Standing 100 feet wide, it's one-tenth the size of the Belize Blue Hole, but it's actually 250 feet deeper. This Blue Hole also formed during the Ice Age over 15,000 years ago. Blue Holes are much more common in Earth's oceans than you may think, and they're all unique in their own way. While the Belize Blue Hole stands out for being 980 feet wide, Dean's Blue Hole is incredibly deep, 660 feet below the surface. These are just two of many blue holes that formed around the world tens of thousands of years ago, and a lot more information is needed to truly understand how these holes form and how they will change in the future. Do you think that these blue holes will be like this forever? Comment below, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe for content like this every week. Thanks for watching.